This is my intro song. It isn't very long. That's it. Go on, watch the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Berry Q Nails. We are going to be getting rid of this set today and we are applying a new one. So here we go. And yay, all done. So now we're going to go over with my Dremel with my little tornado bit. It is a coarse grit. I'm going to go over that over my little dust collector. And we're going to go ahead and just begin chipping away and dremeling away at that top layer. Keeping that point towards the perimeter of the nail and the wider parts of that bit mainly towards the middle and towards the front free edge. So that's what's happening here. I hope y'all are doing good. February is almost over. Oh my God, I can't believe it. So yeah, we're just dremeling away. We wanna get rid of the bulk of our product. I like to get rid of most of it. I do leave a thin amount on my natural nail just to protect it, to avoid any thinning. You know, I don't want my natural nails to get too thin, you know? Cause that's no good. That's no good. So you see, I just try to get that through that top coat and through that gel. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're gonna switch out and I'm going to my five and one drill bit. This is the workhorse right here. It's the one that does most of the work. I love this bit. So again, use the tip of that um, bit, mainly around the perimeter of the cuticle, the side walls and basically follow that guide on that nail. The wider part on that Dremel tip would be used for the middle and towards the free edge, since those are a bit thicker. I love this part. Ever since I got this, um, what you call it? Uh, that five in one drill bit. That's my favorite drill bit to use aside from a sanding band. That other one, that coarse one, she's a, she, she a tough one. She a tough one. She be skipping on me sometimes. But, you know, we do what we got to do. If y'all hear little tap, tap, taps, tip, tip, tips on hardwood floors, as Miss Beyonce says. Those are the dogs running around in the flow. The crazy dogs, Lord Jesus. All right, now we're putting on my sanding band. This is a 180 grit sanding band. And I'm just gonna go along, try to smooth it out, use it to push back the cuticle a bit, and clean that up. Clean it up, clean it up. Clean it up, clean it up. <clears throat> Skirsh me. I hope y'all are having a beautiful day. I hope y'all have a wonderful week. It's always sending out positive, loving vibes out to everybody. That's what this channel's about. Positivity. Being happy with yourself, being content, peace, chill, no drama. No more drama in my life, like Mary J. Blige say. And I wish the same for y'all. All right, so now we're taking my little cuticle bit. A 
a little tiny one. It's gonna go around the edges, over the side walls, through those folds of skin. Make sure I clean under there, make them look nice and clean. This also helps pick up any of that dead skin on that cuticle fold. That little drill bit, she's small, but she tough. Gotta be careful with her. So yeah, I'm gonna go back. Let's do a little finishing dremeling with that band just to make sure everything is good. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just using my little E-Nail Couture Max Estrada brush to brush off the dust excess. I'm gonna put some alcohol on that brush and I'm going to basically brush away any oils, any dust that collected here. Lord, what is y'all doing closing the door? I got the two dogs, I got the cats running around. Jesus. So let's look at that, nice and prepped. That nail is all done and I'm gonna follow the same steps on all of the nails. I ain't gonna put you through watching the entire thing, but you know. Penny, back up baby, back up. All right, so now we're just moving this dust collector out of the way, getting that brush and alcohol back. I love this part. This part feels so good. Like after you've been, you know, spent that time dremeling everything off, it feels so good. Look at me, look at me trying to figure out how to hold the brush, child. Um, but yeah, so I'm brushing upwards. It helps push that cuticle up and then try to brush out and down to get rid of any of the dust that's kind of trapped in there while pushing down, applying pressure so the bristles can kind of like creep under the cuticle and sweep up anything. So there you go, look at that nice hand. She prepped, honey. She ready. Anyway, the store of today's show is the Mora Van Professional Nail System. I got this on Amazon. I will link it below. I love this box. It's so cute and petite. As you can see, it has all their social media, cute pink box designs. So it is the more Van Gel Nail Polish. It has, you know, basic storage warnings, manufacturers, all this good stuff. Always good to have. That's the design. It is GM15. Now on Amazon, under the Moravan, it is called the Space Star um, Chameleon Polish Kit. All right, so first things we're unpacking. So this did come with two small, petite little containers of little flakes. So this is supposed to add to the chameleon effect. Not sure I'm gonna be using those today because I don't wanna get all messy, but we'll see. And here are the stars, darling. Got the more Van Gel Polish Nail Art Kit Manual. Sure it shows you how to apply it as just a gel polish. Um, if this was a cat eye nail polish, those would be the instructions color changing nail polish, and their guarantee to you, the consumer. Here are all the bottles that were provided in this kit. All right, so let's pop them all out so y'all can see. I love the bottles. They are so pretty because they're chic, simple. I love it. And I love that it actually does have a peak of color, if you've noticed. I haven't, you know, brought them up close yet, but, you know, so, all right. So here we got the Moravan Top Coat 
and the base coat. UV LED silk off. Both them bottles is wrapped up tight. We got G005. So this one, I'm not sure if you could tell in the little window in the front. This is a gel polish, so it is sealed. So that's just like a little swatch. This is the black. This is their very nice black gel polish. The formula is beautiful. Has a very good pigment to it. So you see this one. Now we're getting to the colors. G292. And you can see in the window, right in the front, it's a little swatch window. And it shows you what the color is. So these are chameleon polishes. So depending on how the light is hitting it, how your finger is angled, it will show a different color. This one's kind of like a yellowy, orangey red. These next two are my favorite. This was G, what was that, 290? You see the color there, it's so pretty. Yeah, look at that, ooh. Look at that sparkle, honey. Yes, that's like a blue with some purples. I see some green. Honey, there is so many colors. It is basically holographic. It's beautiful. Lastly, G291. The other star that I loved. Now this one is your purple. This purple has hints of blue, different shades hit it, depending on how the light hits it and everything. So those are the four, the three colors basically, and then you get the black. The reason why is because you need to get the best effect. You need to apply that gel base coat, I'm sorry, the black first to get the good chameleon effect, just bam, you know? So I have some black swatch sticks, which I found on Timu. So instead of painting the clear swatch sticks, I'm going to save some coin, honey. I'm not using that black for the swatches. So I'm going to put these colors directly on the black swatch to give us the effect it would give if it were on black gel polish. Oh, look at that. Ooh. It goes on so good. I see the the golds are golden. I see some orange. I see some coppers. Ooh. I'ma lay that over there. All right, we're putting G292 to the test on the black. I'm sorry, nope, 290. G290. Video Pedro playing a trick on voiceover Pedro. Oh, gorgeous. The way it applies is beautiful. I love these brushes. They have that little curve at the bottom as opposed to just like being flat. It makes it so easy to apply. Look at that. Beautiful. There's, I mean, I see greens, blues. There's even some golds in there. Some, some purple I see. It's oh, so nice. Now we going with G291. Yeah, so you see how vivid that color comes through right away on that black swatch stick? It just saves so much time whenever you have these type of um, polishes, whether it's these chameleons, cat eyes. Ooh, that is a beautiful purple. Oh, yeah, it's giving me Maleficent, honey. Ursula. That was G291. All right, so those have been cured. So here's this one again. Ooh, I'm seeing pink, orange, reds. So many rose gold. Ugh. And that one, I'm seeing green. I'm seeing blues. I'm seeing some teal. And now the last one, I'm seeing purples, blues. I'm seeing some green. 
gorgeous. Those are just fabulous. Those are awesome. So these are the two um, flakes container, uh, the containers of flakes that came with. So you are to put the chameleon polish and then before you cure it, you're supposed to sprinkle some of these on top to get more of a, you see that effect that it's giving on the top of that lid? That's kind of what it's supposed to give. There's a picture exampling that on the Amazon website. But you see me here, I'm contemplating. I'm like, child, hmm. I'm going to try it, though. I'm going to use my little nail. I'm going to scoop some and see what happens. I'm not sure if I read the directions. I don't like when they provide when they provide directions online to something and then don't provide the directions in the box. Like, you see what it's trying to do? Like, I feel it. I felt it in my spirit, what it was doing. But my spirit was telling me, Pedro, not today. Not today. Keep it simple. We wiped off this and brought everything back. Took me like four and a half hours to open these tight mm, bottles. That you saw how tight they were wrapped. My hubby was next to me when I was recording this child, and he was like, "Are you okay?" So I decided I'm using these two today, two nine one and two nine two, along with the black. I'm gonna be using the Eternal Beige Almond or Stiletto by Enel Couture. They call it almond, but personally, I see them as stiletto. Because, child, they sharp. They sharp like a katana, honey. Just go, can slice off anybody. All right, so I'm just going to go through picking my sizes. I generally know my sizes for the most part, but this is only my second time using Enel Couture Tips. So I want to make sure that, you know, I have the right ones. Make sure that once I place them onto the nail, I don't have to force them down to fit. I want to make sure that they're not over exceeding the nail and, you know, surpassing the sides of my nail, meaning it's too big. And I definitely do not want that nail to be too small where I have to, you know, push down a lot in order to get it to fit or, you know, it's just too small, period. Because none of us, that would be none of them. None of those situations are good. So always want to get a tip that fits your nail, sidewall to sidewall on your nails. If by any chance you cannot find a size that will fit your nail properly, um, maybe the small one just cannot get to all the corners of your nail. Um, and the large one is you know just too big and it's surpassing you can always file down the larger one to customize it and fit your cuticle to fit you sometimes um the tips the bottom parts um the cuticle area so you know that thin area different companies make them in different shapes so as you can see these are nice and you know got a kind of a roundish bottom to them uh, I have another set. I'm not sure of the brand, but it has a very like square flat bottom. So for those, my application has to be a little different and I have to do a whole other thing. But anyway, I don't got that problem with these. They're fab. Got all my sizes picked out. So now we're all set. We're just putting everything away. I hate clutter. All right, so we're taking our five in one drill bit like last time. And we are gonna go ahead and run that, not at a very high speed, literally maybe like 6,000 RPM. And we're just going to do a quick little buff and scratch up the inside of the nail where we're going to be applying our adhesive and where it's gonna be attaching to the nail bed. This is for longevity, um, so there will be hopefully no air pockets once you're applying them. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, you know, it just helps keep them on longer. That and with the additional, you know, dehydrator, primers, you know, prep is 
100% important. And it is such a huge factor in nail retention. So always make sure if you're going to take the time to do anything, make sure you prep your nails properly, prep any of your nail enhancements properly. Um, if you don't have a Dremel, you could use a primer, such as the Young Nails Protein Bond or any other primer. And you can actually just take the brush and put it in the areas that you see me dremeling and you can chemically etch them just by brushing inside a little roughly and it'll do the same job all right so we're taking our nail prep dehydrator from model ones i love this dehydrator it works so well to rid the nail bed of any impurities oils anything that might you know impede the adhesion Look at me with my little SAT words, honey. Impede the adhesion. So I'm just doing that on all my nails. I usually do two coats, but today I was feeling good. I just did one, <laughs> letting it dry. These dry off pretty quick. Now I'm gonna go in with my Young Nails Protein Bond or it can be known as a primer. Pretty much same thing, non-acid based primer. So this one, you apply it. This is basically like a double stick tape. So this will adhere to your natural nail and it will assist any um, glue adhesive to even stick better to the enhancement that you're gonna put on. And whatever adhesive that you're gonna be using, roughing up the inside of that tip helps grip onto the inside better as opposed to a completely smooth, shiny surface. That nail might just go and pop right off. <laughs> pop, go to weasel, cause weasel go pop. All right, going in with my protein bond. Sometimes I'll do two coats of this as well. All right, we're letting that air dry. So I got a little dampened dish and I'm putting in some alcohol. This is the 91% isopropyl alcohol. Do not look at that bottle. I just got that at the um, nail supply store. Just to, you know, be easier to dispense. So I'm just getting that because usually, you know, usually I never do this. But this was the first time that I actually like took the time and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a little cleanup brush because I never really do it. <laughs> I usually just do it with like my finger or a towel or something. So I got this little brush and I'm gonna use that to clean up, especially since I'm using such a dark, bold color as black as my base. I wanna make sure that none of that gets on my skin gel polish, any kind of products on the skin could lead to contact dermatitis. You don't wanna get any allergies to any of these products. So today we're using the McCart Nail Glue Gel. So this one I tried out last year, I believe it was, because I wanted to try a different type as of um, adhesive as opposed to just builder in a bottle, which is more loose in consistency. Although, albeit it is still thick, builder in a bottle. But as you can see, this bottle, this little tube has been used, honey. So, you know, it just says, you know, follow the instructions, do what you gotta do. I'm a, you know, I'm a vet at this one. So we just gonna go ahead and. All right, so we're taking the Motoban and we are taking that beautiful black. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We're taking the base. We're doing a beautiful base coat on the natural. You see how curved when I place the brush down and push it on the nail, how it flares out into that like a fan. Let me tell you, that is key in one of the keys, you know, in getting that cuticle looking right. 
I'm sorry if I'm a little off camera here. I need to get better at looking at my phone once in a while, making sure that I'm in frame. But I'm applying this base coat on all the nails. This will assist in any other gels that I'm putting on top to apply better, to last longer, and adhere better. Because you know we don't like sloppy work here. No, mommy. Oye, ¿qué te pasa, Jax? What's the matter? Oy, these dogs and stuff coming in here. But yeah, just applying this nice, thin, even coat. I think right here I realized, I was like, oh crap, I'm not in frame. Drive a roll up the partition, please. Yep. Anybody out there love Beyonce? I'm a I'm a Beehive fan. I'm in the Beehive. I must say. What y'all thought of Renaissance? If y'all are Beyonce fans and have listened and seen Renaissance, whether in person, on YouTube, or wherever, let me know. All right, so we're curing in that lamp for a good 60 seconds for that base coat, just to get it all nice and cured. I like to go in for the full two minute, 120 seconds for anything like, um, like an adhesive, like a glue or base gel, whatever the case is. Um, but for a base coat, I'm good with the 60 seconds. So I'm just squeezing out a bit of this. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the focus right. Say there it is. You see that little bead, and it's going. You see, it? I'm trying to poke at it so you can see it's tacky, but it's not moving too much. So that's more of a difference than what Builder in a Bottle. Builder in a Bottle will slip and slide left and right. You know, it'll be doing the electric slide, keep a shuffle on your nail, honey. So I got my little um, gooseneck light ready to go. You know, even though I, I use this often, this glue, you know, sometimes, depending on the tips, the diff tips be different. Um, you know, my little ratio, my amount might not be perfect. So as you can see, we got some spillage. I'm just trying to make sure she's straight too, because the worst thing is flash curing, thinking that your nail's straight and it's going over to the left. Or it's looking like Biggie back in the day with that crook eye. I'm sorry. R.I.P. Biggie, but I'm just saying. Thinking you looking at me, but he looking all the way to the right. So I'm just taking the wooden stick and just trying to see if I can get some of that. Um, as you can see, it's pretty cured already since it had direct exposure to the lamp. Because this, this stuff cures fast. But underneath, as you can see, I still can remove it. So that is definitely a plus on using tips that are not clear sometimes you um if you do get any spillage underneath the nail you definitely want to get that cleaned out you don't want that bulk you want it to look nice and cute and smooth under your nail and petite and we not wasting product what we say here what we say honey we don't waste product i scrape whatever was underneath that one i put it on the next nail all right, so going back in with some more. And we keep going in. Going at a 45 degree angle. I try not to hit the cuticle exactly. I try to, you know, place it a little a ways. Um, and then just press down. That gel will glide down your nail towards the free edge. I make sure it's straight. And just do a flash cure. See it go in there for... I mean, it's really not that long. You see, I'm gonna hold it in there for, that's literally it. And it's adhered enough where 
I can continue doing my work. Y'all crazy children. Now I'm recording a video. Um, but it's enough to adhere it to your actual nail. So again, going in, scraping what was the extra spillover and putting it onto the next one. So I find this just so much easier than the builder in a bottle. However, I will say I did like using the E-Nail Couture bubblegum gel a little more than this McCart one. I have to say it held a bit better. Um, and I don't know. I had less spillage, obviously, with this one because I'm more used to it. So I had a lot more spillage when I was applying the Enel Couture bubblegum gel. But, you know, I'm sure I'll get good at applying those other ones too. And I won't have as much spillage. So you see, see if it, somebody gonna say, oh, it look crooked, but no, my finger just go that way. <laughs> I'm, that, I'm the one in the family that just go that way when they ask. So we're just repeating the same steps on all these. But yeah, definitely using um, not clear tips helps in terms of being able to clear, clean up under the nail. If you were using a clear tip, that underneath part where I'm easily being able to just scoop it out after I have flash cured might not be as easy. Um, it might be a lot more tacky or rubbery you know it might not have fully cured but you know she might be close y'all remember the lombada and then j-lo took it and she put it in her song tonight we gonna get on the flow Oh my God, I only got one more finger left. I'm so excited. So yeah, another reason why you definitely want to um, try and clean up this gel. Remember I was saying about that contact dermatitis? It's basically a condition where it makes you allergic, where anytime you will get any of that product on your skin, it may become inflamed, it may have a rash, it may, you know, break out in some sort of hives. So just be very careful. Test your products first, always. Um, also, again, disclaimer, honey. That's my disclaimer noise. I am not a licensed nail technician. I've learned from YouTube University, DIY and <laughs> doing all this stuff, learning with my hubby. So make sure you always check your own and do your own research. Don't take my word for everything. <laughs> so I'm, I cured it in there for the full two minutes to make sure that day is one. I do the full two minutes. Some people would say a minute is enough. Some people say 90 seconds is enough. I'm sure it is. But you know what? I don't want in a couple days my nails lifting. So I want to make sure they're real good and cured. So now we're going to bring out our dust collector again. As you saw, I did have some spillage that did cure on the top of the nail. So I'm going to take my 5-in-1 drill bit again. That top part that you can see that has white, that's, you know, leftover dust. I'm just going to take that and go around the perimeter of the nails to basically chip away and remove, <clears throat> excuse me, any of that spill out material because A, possibility of allergies, two, your application will not look right because you will eventually probably paint 
on the spilled out part. So you'll have your nail not going to look right. <laughs> so I'm taking my 8080 nail grit file. I'm just refining the shape along the sides. I did have a little piece, I believe, that was having some issues. So I used that 8080 nail grit file. 8080 meaning there's 80 grit file on each side of that file. Some come with different grits on different sides. I gotta do a little tap tap, clean that off. And I love this bit. It helps you get you right in that corner. And because of the shape of this bit, it really helps, you know, have that, you know, appearance. It will give the enhancement the appearance of, hey, I grew this nail, honey. It's natural. C'est natural. C'est vraiment real. It's really real. I'm a real boy. I'm trying. I, I was trying. I'm trying to learn French. Je parle un peu de français. Um, je étudie avec Duolingo en mon portable. So I'm learning French with Duolingo on my cell phone. So you know. I got my English. Tengo mi español. Porque todavía tú sabes. And then now. Je parle un peu de français. So, we're going to continue. And we're going through dremeling out around the edges of these. Making sure we nice and good. To get that seamless, sharp look that we want. Penny damn girl. Lord, these dogs gonna keep running over to me. I'm trying to... I'm try, Daddy trying to do his voiceover. I'll take y'all out in a few. Not like I didn't just take y'all out a little bit ago. We have a fenced in backyard, so we know we just let them run free. Sometimes, yo, we live right, like, there's a farm right behind us, and there's cows. It's like wilderness, so my dogs be chasing anything that be in our yard. We have a fenced in yard, but, you know, they can see the cows and everything. They always run up to them and try to see them. If there's a rabbit in our yard, child, you better watch out. They will chase down that rabbit. And try to catch it like them dog, like them greyhound dogs, you know, on the tracks. Ooh, they fast. These pit bulls don't play. So we're turning off this, and now we're just gonna go over with our brush. I'm gonna open this up first. Get the clean side. All right, we're getting the alcohol out again. Another reason why I'm okay doing this with alcohol, because I don't know if anybody has seen this before, but sometimes when you apply alcohol to these tips, it gives, it turns the tips white. Um, so I usually will not do this step. I'll usually just brush it dry or use water a little bit, um, just a very small amount to just dust off any excess dust and things that we don't want. But um, since we're gonna be painting these nails, Applying the alcohol directly to them underneath and on top is not going to be an issue. So look at the nails. They all oh honey. They looking good. I love this shape. Ooh, so now we, all right. This is that, no turning back. G005. This is more Van's Black. All right, let me get my little dampening dish with alcohol on my brush. Because I have a, I got a feeling I will be needing to clean up 
a lot. <laughs> so we're just taking the black, swiping it out on one side, the part that, flip it over the part that has the polish and apply that. I always start at my pinky, whether it's enhancement application or gel polish application. So we're just applying the black very carefully. Shh, not while I'm painting. Not while I'm polishing. Y'all remember that? Family Matters, Steve Urkel. He used to say, shh, not while I'm pouring. Every time he was like pouring anything, whether it was into his little machine or whatever the case was. But, you know, all right, so as you can see, I'll, you know, press down almost towards the cuticle and just push some gel back just so it can get as close to the cuticle as I can. When it comes to any application of colors, I am so OCD about it because I want to try and get as close to the cuticle as I can. You know, I want to have all those cute, I want to have a cute application like, you know, all these fabulous people I'll be seeing on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, all the places where you can follow at Barry Q Nails, and that's at B E A R Y Q N A I L Z. By the way, you can go ahead and subscribe and follow on all those platforms. It really helps me out. All right, so now we're moving on to the next fango. It's pretty pigmented, it's really not. A sheer black which is good you know I have used some blacks that when you apply it to the nail and you spread it out it kind of becomes a little see-through and you don't really want that you really want that full coverage I'm trying to what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just even it out and try to get everything even across the nail so I don't have to do a second layer this particular design, since I'm applying the chameleon polish over it, um, if I were to leave it a little see-through, it wouldn't be the end of the world because of the pigment that will be added on top. However, if I was doing, let's say, a, you know, certain types of cat eye polishes that require a magnet, and I know that whatever design I'm going to do is going to be moving all that pigment and I'm going to have a lot of black showing. I don't want to have a patchy, you know, black layer on the nails. Because why? I'm OCD. And I just can't hate myself. I can't help myself. As you can see, we are doing the dang thing. We are taking the alcohol on that brush, just giving a cute little swipe along the edges of the cuticle. Make sure that it looks nice and clean. Nice and clean to keep them clean. I'm not sure if any of you have seen Kef and Kim. Kith and Kim. It's a, an Australian show. And it's on Netflix. And it's hilarious. If you haven't checked it out, you should. Sorry, that is my terrible Australian accent. But the show is called Kath and Kim. And it was, it's an Australian show. It's on Netflix right now. It's hilarious about a mother and daughter. And they are just so funny. They tried it in the U.S., a few years after the success in the early 2000s, but it just did not catch. Some shows just do not translate. But me and hubby, we love us some Kath and Kim. We quote them all the time. All the time. The mom, her name is Kath. 
anytime she wants like somebody to look at her and be like you know pay attention to her she'll say look at my look at my look at my and that's her version of saying look at me <laughs> ah, this show's so stupid yo this black polish is looking so fierce with these nails let me tell you something If I didn't have that chameleon polish to work with, I would leave these just as it is, honey. Black is never whack. <laughs> oh, I love them. Oh, look at that shine. See, sometimes with these nails, I, sometimes when I'm applying, I, I, I actually have... um. A, an inflammatory disease, a rheumatoid, you know, I have rheumatoid arthritis and I have a couple things. So, and on top of that anxiety, so I, I tend to shake and sometimes my hands will cramp. So sometimes my fingers will end up touching and I'll get polish from maybe my pinky onto my ring finger or vice versa. And I got to end up cleaning that or I don't discover it until a couple hours later. <laughs> When I'm showering or doing something, I'm like, oh, look, there's dried, cured polish on my finger that I didn't notice. So before you stick your hand in that lamp, just give a quick back and forth to your hand. <laughs> Make sure that you don't have any product so you don't cure it on. Luckily, I've been lucky, you know, through a learning curve and even up till now. You know, I haven't developed any allergies that I have noticed. You know, I live in Florida. If I haven't mentioned it before, I live in Central Florida in St. Cloud, Florida with my husband, my two dogs, my two cats. Um, it gets hot. And we got like some water in between that farm and us. So we get mosquitoes like crazy. And listen, these dogs better love. Oh, these dogs better be thankful that I love them, because otherwise I would not be outside for any excessive periods of time. <laughs> not only is it deathly hot and humid, but these mosquitoes be savages, man. I have scars on my ankles <laughs> and on my calves because that is where they love to come at me. Uh, but all right, so you saw I just needed a little more polish. I'm going back on anywhere that I do see any light spots that I wasn't able to just level out myself or allow the gel polish to self-level. And just, just cleaning that up to make sure that it's looking nice and smooth. Clean up any excess that has spilled over. Sometimes, um... You know, if by any chance, I try my best to not get any flooding in the cuticle area, which will result in that, um, the proximal nail fold, that back part, the cuticle area, you know how it kind of has like a curve, the polish will get on that curve. So I'll, sometimes I'll try to like pull back a little bit on the skin and use that cleanup tool to really get under there and clean up everything. Just so I don't have to go back later and try to file it off. Look how nice that applies, though. When I grow up, I'm going to buy me a house. I'm in the house. Going to make love in the house. That new Beyonce song, My House. It's a banger. This show is a banger. So what do you guys like to listen to? I'm all over the place. Like today I was um, listening to Sade. I was just shuffling all of her music. Yesterday I was listening to Linkin Park. The day before, I believe, I was listening to Celine Dion, who is my queen. And I'm still sending all positive healing and loving vibes to my queen, Celine Dion. She is fabulous. I love Celine so much. 
I don't know. Ugh, I love her. But anyway, comment below. What's y'all's favorite music? What kind of things do y'all like to listen to? I want to get to know y'all better. But I'm all over the place. I love Latin music, of course. You know, I love the old stuff. Juan Luis Guerra. Willie Colón. Uh, Celia Cruz. You know, and moving all the way up till now. Becky G. Bad Bunny. All these people. I love rap. I love my I love my Cardi. I love my Nikki. Even though they don't like each other. I love pop. I love me some gospel, some Yolanda Adams, some Kirk Franklins. And of course, you know, love me some pop, Madonna, Lady Gaga. I love EDM, electronic music. You remember that song from back in the day? That, um, what was it called? Firestorm, I think it was. That it'll start. Dun, 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 dun. No. Never mind. I'm just going to stop. Ooh. That application is so smooth. What y'all want? You hear the click clacking? The click clacking of the dogs? I don't know if y'all can hear that. But they up in here. Hey, mommy. Hi. Hi, my babies. I'm going to see. I'll, I'll maybe post a picture. Or I'll include a short little video on here. So you can see my babies, Penny. My babies, Penny and Jax. They are two beautiful American Staffordshire Terrier Pitbull. They are so cute and so loving, but they are very big dogs and they sure act like they weigh only two pounds. <laughs> so they jump on us a lot. All right, back up. All right, so... Um, yeah, so as you saw, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go in the lamp after I'm done cleaning up everything. I'm just going through making sure I don't have any excess. You see, I still did, I still did the check and I still ended up with some later on. So I went in there for a full 120, cured it. They looking nice. They looking fierce. They looking like they could stab somebody and cause some damage. Just so, all right, give me one second. Be right back. All right, my bad. All right, so I wanted to grab my clear swatches for a reason. I wanted to show you guys the reason why. Um, a it come the po the kit comes with a black polish to use along with the chameleon gels, um, and also why I use the black swatch sticks instead. So this is G two nine one. So we're going to swatch this on the clear so you guys can see the difference of swatching it over black and over clear. Look at that. So it ha you see the it has that chameleon effect because depending on where you move it and where you look, you know, I, I still see some blue and purples and different shades. Let's see if we can see it a little better. It's, it, so you see, it's very difficult to see. I'm trying to get the focus. Come on, focus, child. All right. So you see the 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 uh the flecks of the chameleon glitter that are in there are there. However, having the black background make them pop. So I'm gonna swatch the other one just so you can see. So you see, same thing, still beautiful shimmer and beautiful color changing. 
but since there is no dark background, you're not getting the full effect. So it's a beautiful color shifting. It's gorgeous. But you need that black background. All right. So that's why I just wanted to do that for y'all. So that's why we're doing this. So see, we're using the black. We're going to put that on top of the black. And look fierce. I appreciate y'all staying and watching for the entire video. It would be so awesome if you guys could subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notifications, and like the video. All right, we're going in with G290. I'm going to apply this to my thumb, middle finger, and my pinky. Look at that color versus what you just saw on the clear swatch stick. The difference. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh, my pearls. I can barely contain myself. Ooh, child. I'm like Patty LaBelle. <laughs> my shoulders. Ugh. It looks so nice. I'm trying to get back there, trying to cover up the black, get as close as I can to the cuticle. So guys, if you comment below and tell me that you subscribed, I will comment back. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a dialogue. I want to grow the Berry Q Nails community. I appreciate all of those who have already subscribed. I appreciate all of those who have commented and liked the video. It means so much that you're taking the time out to watch something that I'm doing. You know, I don't, I'm not always the best person to myself. So having, you know, people out there, you know, that I don't even know say nice things to me it's very nice so i i really i send a lot of love light positivity to all of you and to all of those you know Whew. all right oh that, that, let me see you do the brown i want to rock i want to rock i want to rock i want to i want to i want to i want to rock mm. oh sorry i gotta snap myself out of that mm. All right, so you see, we're still going in, making sure we're getting good coverage. Make sure sidewall to sidewall, cuticle, proximal fold, which is your cuticle area, to the free edge, which is the tip of that nail. Make sure it is fully covered. All right. All right, let me see. All right, so put a little mo right there. Oh, my goodness, Jack, stay at that. And then he runs in here. You hear that? They run in here and they like, what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. I didn't mean to. I know y'all just, he's like, well, fine. Y'all can die then. I'm just trying to protect you, daddy. And then Penny runs in after. Daddy, I'm sorry about Jack, daddy. He's such a stupid boy. He's so stupid. All right, so we are done with that color. And now we are taking G291, which is our final color. 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 
Now this one is the more purple, violet, blue, beautiful chameleon gel polish. Let me tell you how much I was feeling myself painting on this because I was already like, all right, once I'm done, I know I'm gonna be pointing at everything again. I think one one of my uh, some uh, homegirl Latin nail Latina nail designs. She commented on my previous post and she started laughing at me because I said I'm be pointing at everything. I'm be like, yeah, girl. I'm be pointing at everybody and everything. I'm be like you, paya, you, paca, you over there, and bring you that over here. Ow. Look at that. Mm. What a beautiful color. And I love the combination of these two shades together. Can y'all shut up? That's just a chuck. They such y'all stereotypical dogs. That's the mailman and y'all barking at him. <laughs> they so silly. But yeah, I'm be pointing at everything. These stiletto nails making me do that. Like I like I usually wear either stiletto or coffin are my go-to shapes. However, I get a whole different style of flair, honey, with the stilettos. Cause I'm acting like La Lupe or you know, somebody fan like fancy like I la Virgen ay Dios. But it's not cute. See, you do everything all dainty with these long nails. All right, so just doing some cleanup with the alcohol. If I pick up anything, wipe it off, clean off the brush before I put it in the alcohol. I don't want anything bleeding out onto the gel, which could cause the gel to run. And I don't want that. I definitely don't want it to run because trust me, child, I cannot catch it. I cannot catch it. All right, look at that. You good? In the lamp. Two minutes. Child, I'm going to throw this phone at the wall. Look at that. Oh. Ah. I'm like Monique. You know, the um the comedian. She'd be like, oh, baby. I love this color. They look so cute. I am loving them. All right, so I'm thinking... I love how they look already, but I'm like, maybe I can add something. So I asked Hubby and I was like, do you think some uh, cuticle cuffs would look nice? And he was like, do that ish, man, do that. Nah, he didn't say it like that, but he was like, yeah, do it. <laughs> So I am trying to find the rhinestone glue so I can get everything situated. I'm trying to use different products in these videos to show different things to everybody. Um, so instead of using, you know, the E-Nail Couture um, gummy jelly, I'm going to use something different today that I have not used on a video before. So as you can see, I'm just picking out the cute, they look like, like almost rope, but gold cuticle cuffs. I'm grabbing out five. Okay. Got that. I'm trying to see.
trying to see, trying to get this clear so I can show y'all what I'm trying to go for. All right, so I got some wide ah, fingers and Shrek hands, right? So these little cuticle cuffs was made for gorgeous hands, demure fingers that I do not have. Um, so firstly, um, let me see. So some of these are a little not wide enough for me. Uh, so actually, I think, yeah, I actually changed my mind. I changed my mind here in the video. I, instead of doing any glue at all, I am applying the McCart. I'm so, oof, not McCart. The Motorvan top coat that came with the kit. I'm applying a layer to the entire nail. And then I'm going to apply the cuticle cuff to that right on top and then let that cure in place. Now, I'm telling you this because that was my plan. That's what I wanted to do, right? I was having little issues with these little cuffs slipping and doing that slip and slide left and right. Slip and slide like it, um like it's Trina and Trick Daddy. Gonna take it to the house, take it to the house, take it to the house. Slip and slide, take it to the house. If we got that fire, take it to the house. Damn, that's old. That song came out when I was in high school. I graduated in class of 05. I graduated from Hollywood Hills High School in South Florida. Hubby and I moved up here, actually up further north to Orlando proper. Um, 10 minutes from Universal when we first moved out here. And that was in 2018, I believe it was. And from there, we moved further south to the Kissimmee area. And then we were about five, 10 minutes from Disney. And now we have purchased a home here in St. Cloud, Florida. So right now we're about 35, maybe 40 minutes to the parks. A little far, but it's nice out here. It's quiet, it's chill, there's a lot of bad traffic, but I mean, that's everywhere nowadays. I mean, it is 2024. Everybody and their mama got a car and four different cars and like, it's just so many cars on the road. Like, it's everywhere though. Everybody, everybody complains about traffic no matter where you are. You see how careful I am? I'm so I'm so soft and dainty when I apply my top coat. I want to make sure that it is a nice thin top coat. That it does not have any dry areas that, you know, sometimes if you don't have enough on the brush, it might leave little gaps and stuff like that. But, you know, oof, and that top coat just brings out the shine even more than what these chameleons was already shining. They were shine bright like a diamond. I love Rihanna. And I love me some Sia. Shine bright in the beautiful sea. I chose to be happy. All right, so we're going in. I'm realizing now this is a, a long-ish video. I'm not, I didn't cut out as much as I did in my previous videos. I wanted to show you guys more in real time how long it takes me to do some of this stuff. Like when I first started doing my nails, 
to do both hands would take me about eight hours. So I've definitely improved with speed, both my husband and I. So it's pretty cool. Um, on this channel, we will be experimenting and practicing and doing other things with poly gels or acro gels, hybrid gel, however you want to call it. Every brand has a different name. Um, we're going to be using acrylics. So, we got, you know, we got some exciting things coming. All right. So now you see me, I'm trying to apply these little cute cuticle cuffs. Now, everything look all right. The, the ones I think that look a little wonky <laughs> are pretty much all of them <laughs> except my pinky. <laughs> but look, I did my best. So I think they look all right. But literally, them things are strong too. I didn't think they would be so strong. Them tiny little cuticle cuffs. I was like, all right, let me try to bend, you know, let me try to widen one by bending it a little bit. So it'll look a little more normal on a, my wide you know big a finger um but that did not want to bend i might have to get some tools <laughs> i might have to go to the garage and get a wrench a wrench or something a monkey wrench all right see look that cuticle cuff fit perfectly on my pinky it said "Ooh, hug me Every other one is just like, I'm just going to float. I don't trust you. I'm just going to float on top of you. I don't know you like that. We can, but we ain't close. <laughs> That's what them cuticle cuffs were saying to them nails. For everything from the thumb to the ring. Having some issues. These little things, first of all, these things are tiny. Then you got me just my big Shrek fingers. Then you add the nails. <laughs> so I cured that for a good 60 seconds for that first one. Now I'm going in with a second top coat to kind of seal the cuticle cuffs in and to seal the edges so they're not exposed and like catching on everything because these nails are sharp enough so they the nails will be catching on my pockets and stuff when i will be putting my hand in my pocket and things like that i don't want anything like fabric or anything getting cut on them so just doing a second top coat ivy of jacks yo mio virgen de alta gracia sorry these dogs are driving me crazy so i'm doing another top coat anyway just to seal in that cuticle cuff a little bit just to get the edges and help make sure that it is held on to the nail i do this in lieu of using the rhinestone glue which i could have done but since it was such a thin embellishment that tiny tiny little cuticle cuff I wasn't necessarily sure on how to apply the glue to my nail, you know, without adding too much or anything like that. So I just did it this way and it worked out fine. And this design came out cute, actually. This is the first time I've ever done cuticle cuffs. So, you know, just trying that little something, something. Trying out different looks. Back in that lamp. Another 120. Ooh. Yes, baby. Oh, they looking so good. Look, with this hand and the other hand, I feel like I represent the movie which is now going to come out soon, but originally a book, which then turned into a musical. Wicked. I feel like this hand is giving Alphaba. It's giving, you know, Green Witch. My left hand 
from the previous video is giving Glenda. It is giving pink. It is giving dainty. It is giving popular. I'm gonna be popular. But no. So I'm over here on my right hand. I'm trying to figure something out. So I asked hubby, I was like, look, there's a lot of space here on this thumb. So I ended up getting the rhinestone glue that I was just saying that I was not using for the cuticle cuffs. However, I am going to use it for these um, caviar beads. So these tiny, tiny little, ca I'm, I'm taking the tiniest little amount on the edge of this little wooden stick. And I'm just gonna tap into the little dish after I put a little bit on each corner. Just on each corner of the cuticle cuff, I'm applying a very thin layer and I'm spreading it out because what I'm planning on doing is adding a couple cuticle, um, I'm not cuticle, a couple cav some caviar beads on each side to maybe have like a, to make it look like a garland effect. So I'm taking uh, one, I believe these are medium size caviar beads, applying it and then taking two tiny little micro caviar beads and putting those next to the other one. Again, apologies for being a little out of frame. Oh, I'm hearing sirens. I hope they're okay. Sending prayers. All right, so I just did that, flash carrying it, making sure I'm, oh crap. I moved the little ball too much and it fell off. And I popped it off before it cured. All right, so hey, it happens. So we're gonna take a little more glue that I had left on that stick. And we are going to attach that little ball right back where it needs to go. Yes, we will. And flash cure real quick. And don't touch it. <laughs> and then once I'm done, look at that. So I just did a, see, it looks like a weird little happy face. And if you turn then it looks like a door knocker almost. <laughs> so I don't know. I thought it looked cute. It's a cute little design. Let me just clean up all this stuff. That was the McCart rhinestone glue that I used. It's great stuff, has great hold and adhesions for your stones. Pop that back in the lamp for a full 120. Look at that. Ain't it cute? I mean, look, the, the placements could have been better. But look, I think they look fabulous. I think I did pretty good. You know, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. In addition to... Any other the questions that I asked, such as what type of music do you guys like, or you um what you all like? I don't say yeah. I, I try not to say guys because you never know how people represent. So I try to say you all, my audience, my followers, the awesome people that are subscribing and watching my channel. All right, so we got our cuticle oil, cuticle oil. And take our cuticle oil, and we're gonna put it for our finishing touch on our cuticle areas for nourishment, for hydration, for fabulosity and shine, and for that finish ooh la la experience, honey to feed the children the look. I thought this came out so nice though. Ooh. Look at that. Close this bed, you. Got my little wicked nails now. Use my alphabet. Wicked nails. Oh, they look so pretty. These shades are gorgeous. With the cuticle cuff, I think it really do does add to it. And 
really turned out a cute little look. And I'll be proud to wear this look for for a few days. Maybe up to a week. <laughs> so yeah. That was that. And that's how it came out. I really hope you guys liked it. Look at that. I'm just feel you see how I'm feeling myself in this? I, I am not stopping for one second. <laughs> so again, this was the Moravan Professional Nail System GM15. The Space Star Chameleon Kit from Amazon. I will link it, link it in the description below if you'd like to try it out for yourself. Um, maybe you guys can tag me in a video of you trying it. Um, I'm trying it with the chameleon little flakes that it came with. So here you go. I'm showing you everything that came. Showing you the bottles that we used. And we got G005, which was that gorgeous black. And we got that one that was that blue green almost. Very peacock galaxy G290. Alright, G290. Alright, and we got our beautiful purple. Ursula Maleficent Experience G291. And this is that beautiful purple blue ooh la la moment. It's gorgeous. That was G291. Yes, hand model. Yes. So we're going to present everything that came in the box. You know, so we got our colors, we got our black, and we got our base and our top coat that came along with the kit, which are great. I loved the consistency. They were not too uh, loose. They were, they had a good viscous consistency. So definitely try this kit out. Let me know what you thought. Um, and again, I used my Enel Couture Eternal Beige Almond slash Stiletto Tips. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much. I did use the cuticle cuffs from Enel Couture as well. I did, and the McCart Nail Glue Gel to apply the tips. I did forget to use not forget i just omitted to use the little fairy dust thingies but if you've made it this far in the video thank you so so much i appreciate you sending love i can't even make a heart i'm trying to figure out how to do the little heart thing that you see in like japan with your finger there it is sort of and then i love you guys please comment below i will reply like the video share it with your nail um, enthusiast friends, and I can't wait for the next video. See you next time, everybody. Love ya.